seven o'clock in the morning. I just wondered maybe before the river gets hit by boats and everything else, the fish might be a little bit more proactive. At the end of that last session, um, I was just getting played by Jack Pike again. So on the right hand rod, I have put another large pellet on. And on the left hand rod, I've put a cast out to the opposite bank. I normally don't put casts to it because of the amount of boat traffic. But um, yeah, I thought I'd give it a whirl this morning, just fishing lob worm. Now, was that a pluck on my left rod tip or was that a signet? Or baby swan, as they say in Weymouth. Well, I'm into a fish. It's not big, but I expect it's a chub, and that's from the opposite bank. Uh, doesn't surprise me, to be honest. It's nice to get a bend in the rod. But I'm blanking, which is what I thought I was going to do. Good grief. Clean the net. Let's pop that down open. What a pleasant surprise. That's really cheered me up. Because it's not a chub. It's better than that. So glad I didn't just stick with pellet because I wouldn't have caught that otherwise. It's just going to let down. What a cracking fish for the bristle. I would think how much pressure this free stretch gets. Another unexpected visitor. I thought it was weird how those worms got hit as soon as it landed. Yeah, hook's falling out in the net. There we go. <laughs> a chub and barbel session that's turned out to be a predator fest. But that's cool. That's all it was. Double lob worm on a size, size eight hook, is it? Yeah, he's nicked the line just there. One more cast. Full of pound, doesn't it? Brilliant. Pound and three quarters, maybe. I'm not going to weigh it. I'm not going to measure it. It's just been too good a morning. Let's get back. 
This is turning out to be a bit of a red letter morning. Another thumping take. This is fighting harder. If it is a perch, it's considerably bigger than the other two. But I've got a feeling it's probably a chub. I'm absolutely cacking it. The pike's going to tape off whatever I've got on the end of the line. And it's an absolute cracker. It must be something to do with that really cold night last night. I already discovered that there's loads of roach in here and it's brilliant to see fish like this in the Bristol Avon. Such a plump and healthy looking fish. Look at that. And this place gets an absolute thrashing. So these fish, they're not stupid. They know how to hide away. Good for you. presents me with a real dilemma. Do I want to share this on social media? Not really. 